Hello, everybody, and welcome to Porch Comic News Top 5 Must Buy Comics for January 10th, 2018. I'm, as always, Chris. Let's jump into the comics. We're going to start at DC Comics with Action Comics number 995, written by Jane Jurgens with art by Brett Booth. So, this is in the middle of a storyline, but I'm just loving the storyline. Uh... You got Booster Gold, we got Superman, they're teaming up because Superman went back in this, the time to go to Krypton, and that's going to break time, as it would be. And so Booster realizes this, comes back, and tries to prevent him from destroying all of time. The story's been really great, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, kind of a dynamic I'm not used to with Booster and Superman together, and, uh, been just a great time as we're amping up to 1,000. It's going to be exciting. Next, I'm going to go over to Image with Port of, Port of Earth number three. This is written by Zachary Kaplan with art by Andrea Mute. So in the last issue, we have some sort of alien insect-like thing that's on the loose, very deadly. It's broken the um, travel agreement that the aliens and the humans have put together and is now out in normal Earth territory outside of the port. And these two security officers of some sort have basically been put to the test to say we have to find this thing and take care of it. All while being filmed for some sort of reality show or documentary. I don't think it's really been discussed exactly, but I can't remember. Um, book's been a lot of fun. Really great, cool concept. Uh, Andrew Mute uh, has some awesome art. I loved the art that he did for Rebels. And now to see him doing kind of a, a sci-fi, grounded sci-fi book has been a lot of fun. Uh, pick this book up. It's been so good. Now, we're going to Marvel Town, everybody. Marvel Town. So, we are going to start with Daredevil number 597. Written by Charles Soule with art by Stefano Landini. This also is in the middle of a storyline, but I think this is going to be a great jumping on point because... We're in the middle of the Mayor Fisk story, and Fisk has reached out to Matthew Murdoch to be his deputy mayor. Now, this is really interesting because he doesn't know that Matthew Murdoch is Daredevil, and at the same time, he is hunting down Daredevil. So that that aspect of, like, I want him on my team, but you don't realize that he's actually your enemy kind of thing, and Matt Murdoch is trying to fight Fisk from inside, and what better way than to be a secondhand man as deputy mayor? So Charles Sullivan did a great job in this book. Uh, it's been really awesome. Art's been fantastic, and look forward to this issue. I think it's been a great jumping on point. And if you enjoy this, go back to issues. The last two issues been really great too, and uh, you won't be let down. Next. Old Man Hawkeye, number one. This is written by Ethan Sachs with art by Marco Cinchete. So, we've, we've all read Old Man Logan. We know that story. This is five years before Old Man Logan. So, Clint still has his vision, but he realizes that he is starting to go blind and doesn't really know what to do. So, what's a Hawkeye to do? Well, he thinks that the only thing he can do is seek out revenge for all the people that have have died uh, in this universe before he does go blind. So this is kind of a... It's looking like it's going to be a Mad Max revenge story with Hawkeye, which <laughs> I'm sold on that. It looks so good. I mean, more of this Old Man Logan universe. I, I really like this universe. It's like a cool, like I said, Mad Max. Post-apocalyptic Mad Max kind of universe. 
really awesome. Check it out. Last. This one's a doozy. Avengers number 675. This is written by L. Ewing, Mark Wade, and Jim Zub with art by Pepe Larez. So if you didn't hear the news on Fortress Comic News Podcast or anywhere else on the internet for that matter, uh, Avengers is going weekly. And it's going weekly for a 16-part event where all of the Avengers teams are coming together in this one book because they have to come together to fight a threat that only together they can destroy. So what's better than one Avengers team? Four Avengers teams. What threat can be so giant that we need all these Avengers teams? We're going to find out. And we got three of the best writers at Marvel coming together to do it. I uh, really look forward to a weekly Avengers story. I'm glad that they finited it, which is to say that there's 16 parts, so this is a three, I'm sorry, four month event, and we don't have to worry about going on for 52 issues or whatever, and kind of overstaying its welcome. So we do this, we're in and out, and we're going to get some big revelation about the Avengers history. That was teased a long time ago. It's now here. So everybody, thanks for watching. Remember, uh, check out FortressComicNews.com. And if you're here on YouTube, like the video if you enjoyed it. Thumb up. Thumb down if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep you updated on everything going on here at Fortress Comic News. And uh, if you're so inclined, we have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Fortress Comic News. Uh, helps me pay for things. I mean, I really appreciate anybody that does contribute to it. Uh, it means so much to me that you guys are uh, willing to give me even uh, just a buck. I know how big of a deal that is. I am also a contributor to certain things on Patreon, and I know that a buck is a lot. So I really appreciate it. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the content enough to go over there and um, do it for me so that we can keep doing this and make it bigger and better and prettier and nicer and all that fun stuff. And as always, keep enjoying those comics.